articles a an and the at the end of this lesson you will be able to revise how to use a or an before a given word identify the use of a an and the before a given word hi flag are you ready for your holiday trip zizi oh yes i am really excited flag i have even made a list of things i have to remember to pack oh that's a long list hey can i help you pack zizi thank you flag Let's run through the list Zizi has made. A comb, a toothbrush, an umbrella, an alarm clock, a ball. Did you notice there are some words in this list that have the word a before them and some that have the word an before them? Do you know why? Let's find out. There are 26 letters in the English alphabet. Out of these, the five letters A, E, I, O, and U are called vowels. When a word starts with a vowel, or more specifically with a vowel sound, we use an before such words. For example, the word engine starts with the vowel e having a vowel sound e eh. so we use an before this word and say an engine there are two words in zizi's list that start with vowels they are alarm clock and umbrella the word alarm starts with the vowel sound a uh. and the word umbrella starts with the vowel sound a uh. so we use an before these words the remaining letters of the english alphabet other than a e i o and u are called consonants when a word starts with a consonant or a consonant sound we use a uh before such words for example the word pan starts with the consonant p having the consonant sound p so we use the word a uh before this and say a uh pan there are three words in zizi's list that start with consonants Can you tell what they are? They are comb, toothbrush, and ball. The word comb starts with the consonant sound k. The word toothbrush starts with the consonant sound t. And the word ball starts with the consonant sound b. So we use a uh before these words If you observe carefully you will see that the use of a er or an depends on the opening sound of the word not on the actual letter with which it begins In the examples shown earlier we used an before the words that began with a vowel sound and a er before words that began with a consonant sound There Now I just have to pack a few more things and I will be ready. Oh, I have only an hour left to pack. I'd better hurry up. And ah Sometimes a word may begin with a consonant, but we use the word an before it. 
do you know why this happens? Let's see. Sometimes words that begin with the consonant H have a vowel sound or the H is silent. We use an before such words. For example, in the word our, the H is silent. It begins with a vowel sound R. So we use an before such words. The word hat also begins with the consonant H. But here, the H is sounded as her. Hat. It has a consonant sound. So we use a uh before it. We use this rule for some other words as well. Sometimes words that begin with the vowel U have the sound of a consonant Y. We use a uh before such words. Let us take the example of the word unicorn. Here, the vowel U has a consonant sound or the sound of the letter Y. We say unicorn. We use a uh before such words. However, in the case of the word umbrella, it begins with the letter vowel U, but the vowel sound uh umbrella. So we use the word an before such words. Oh, I almost forgot. I have to pack the red hat that my aunt gave me on my birthday. Isn't it pretty, Fleck? <sighs> huh? You forgot to pack this, Zizi? Oh yes, that's my favorite book. I better pack it right away. Thank you, Fleck. We use the word the before nouns to show that we are referring to that particular person, place, or thing. For example, Zizi has to pack the red hat that her aunt gave her. In this sentence, the red hat refers to the particular hat that Zizi's aunt gave her. Let's look at another sentence. Zizi packed the book that Fleck gave her. Here, the book refers to the specific book that Fleck handed out to Zizi. The word the is used before a noun which refers to only one thing of its kind. There is only one sun and one earth, so we say the earth is round and the sun is shining. The word the is used before a noun which refers to the whole class of persons places, animals, or things. An example is, the giraffe is the tallest animal. Here, the giraffe refers to all giraffes. The word the is also used before the names of some famous places, buildings, statues, and books. Zizi's favorite book is called The Tales of Trinky Land. In this phrase, the word the is used to refer to or point out the noun tales. Here, the is used to point out that the book is specifically about tales or stories of Trinky Land. The is used before the names of Rivers like the Nile. Mountain ranges like the Himalayas. Seas and oceans like the Indian Ocean and the Bay of Bengal. Famous buildings and monuments like the Taj Mahal. Holy books like the Bible 
and the Ramayana. The three words that we have just learned about, a, an, and the, are called articles. These articles are actually adjectives that qualify nouns. Do remember that a and an are used before nouns that are singular in number. The is used to refer to particular nouns that are singular or plural in number. I'm done packing, Fleck. Oh, I can't wait to go on this holiday. I'm going to have a wonderful time. I'm sure you will, Vivi. Don't forget to bring back all that you are taking along with you. I'm so excited to go on my vacation. But before I leave, let's run through some of the points we have learned in the lesson. Articles, a, an and the. A, an and the are called articles. They are actually adjectives that qualify nouns. The use of a or an depends on the opening sound of the word, not the actual letter with which it begins. We use an before words that begin with a vowel sound. We use a before words that begin with a consonant sound. We use an before some words that start with h, but the opening sound is that of a vowel. H here is silent. Example, an hour. We use a before some words that start with u, but the opening sound is that of a consonant y. Example, a unicorn. We use the word the before nouns to show that we are referring to that particular person, place or thing. We use the before a noun to particularize or point out a particular noun. Example, the tales of Trinky Land. When the noun refers to only one thing of its kind, example, the sun. When the noun refers to the whole class of person, places, animals or things. Example, the giraffe is the tallest animal. Before the names of rivers, mountain ranges, seas and oceans, famous buildings and holy books. Example, the Himalayas.